Hello, today I will be showing you how to fly a drone with an app using your phone. First of all, I'll show you how to get the app and install it and connect it to your drone and then how to fly it in real conditions. Not all apps are compatible with specific drones. Usually the manufacturer will indicate which app to use. So the first thing you need to do is to check the manual. Usually it comes with the drone. Uh, for this drone, for example, you have one manual, how to use it, and then a separate manual for app instructions. Usually they do not indicate the name of the app and they just provide a QR code which you need to scan with your phone and download the app. Let's see how to do that. In this case we have two QR codes, I'll be using the Android one. And also the manual will include information on the features of the app, indicating which button can be used for which function. One thing to keep in mind here, if you try to search the app by the name of the drone, you will get a lot of options and then it does not guarantee you that these apps will work with your drone. Normally you should follow the manual instructions and download the app indicated in the manual. Here, for example, I am on one of the marketplaces for the apps for Android phones and I see many E88 drone apps, but not all of them will be compatible with the drone. So I need to go now to the QR code scanner application on my phone. So now I got the code here and I'm pressing the link. Here, well, I would trust the manufacturer and I have two options here. So I go for Google Play because then I would be sure I'm not getting any virus. I trust Google Play would have checked the app. And this is the app that I would need to install. So as you can see, this app doesn't look like it is for E88 drone. There's no drone name in the name of the app. So now when we have the app, it's important, first of all, not to launch the app, but to turn on the drone and then connect your phone to the drone. So when you turn on your drone, you'll need to go to Wi-Fi networks on your phone and find the network of your drone. If you get a large list of networks on your phone and you don't know which one to pick up, turn off your drone and turn on it again and then you'll see which network appears and disappears when you do it. So I will connect to it and I will see that this is now connected. And now I can turn on the app. When you push the start button, you should see the image coming from the drone camera. So in this case now we understand that the drone is transmitting the video to the phone and we can start flying it with the app. Let's first review the app. Let's go to settings. You can see control mode here and usually it's uh, always in left hand mode, but you can switch it to right hand mode, which would mean that the stick that's responsible for changing altitude and rotating the drone around its axis, instead of being on the left side, would switch to the right side. And the stick responsible for moving the drone forward, backwards, and fly sideways to the right and to the left, would be on the left side. Let's scroll down. We have instructions which will take you to some instructions here. Then you have photo settings. You can change the resolution. Same for the video settings. You can change the resolution, the language, and some other settings that you could play and experiment with. We will be concentrating on how to fly the drone today. So let's go to the control screen. Here you have several features. The ones we're interested in today is the calibration button, 
which is on the top left corner. Before flying the drone you need to calibrate the drone. Then if you have wind you should switch the speed which is on the top right corner. This percentage numbers can be changed. And then you need to turn on the controls, make them visible and by pressing the on button the control buttons will appear. In the bottom left corner you can see the automatic take off button and this button the gyroscope button the yellow one is the one that allows you to control the drone using the sensors in your phone and what it does is it moves the controls which controls the forward backwards and sideway movements of the drone for example now if i start moving my phone the spot here is moving so it reacts based on the sensor signals of the phone this is called uh, gravity mode other functionalities include capturing video and uh, you have to have the app to make videos using the drone even when you control your drone with the physical remote control you still need to turn on the app to be able to turn on the video recording but the pictures can also be taken using the buttons on the physical remote control anyways the video quality is not so good you will see it now these drones are usually not meant to record videos and take pictures they are mostly meant to play around to fly to learn how to fly a drone and it could be like a first step to introduce yourself into the world of drones and to kind of understand whether this kind of a hobby is something for you or not Okay, now let's see how it works in real life. So now I'm turning on the joystick. Now it appears on the screen. I turn on my speed to the maximum because I have a little bit of wind. Press the calibration button. Now I'll move the stick up. It turns on. And when I move it up, it will fly. Now I'm using this part here and moving forward. The drone is moving forward and to the side. And to the side. I have some wind so it's difficult to keep it in the fixed position. So now I'm trying to move it forward, but because of the wind, it's not moving. I'm trying to move it to the side. Let's go up. Go down. Rotating around the axis. Bringing it back again. Now let's try the gyroscope sensors on my phone. And now it should follow the movement of my phone to the left, to the right, forward. And it's working. The rotation around the axis and the altitude can be controlled only manually. What the gyroscope does is moving the drone sideways to the left or to the right, forward and backwards.